We got Edelcrone. We got Lazy Susan. Which one do I use in my product videos coming up next? Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with Portland Event Films, and today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the Edochrone Head One and the Electronic Lazy Susan. So I do a lot of product videos, um, and this is one thing that I like to use to add motion into my videos. Now, a lot of times I'll put a piece of plexiglass on the Lazy Susan, so everything is in frame and it just makes the product look good as it's doing a spinning video. Now, a lot of times I'll use the Edelcrone in my product videos when I want something that's hidden and sleek. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the different places that I use these and who I recommend each of these products for. So let's start with price. Um, this one on Amazon, I think I picked it up for like 75 bucks brand new. This was 300 bucks. Um, if it just came down to turn in product videos, I definitely would recommend uh, the Lazy Susan, but this has so many more benefits to it um, outside of doing uh, product videos or, or if you're looking to turn uh, different times of products. I actually have this with the slider one, so that way I can get a slide and a parallaxing effect. So that's why I originally uh, bought this, but is really good for like uh, wine videos when I need to turn the bottle, still have the bottle look like it's turning all by itself and not in frame. Now with the Lazy Susan, you can see this is pretty big, but there's a lot more things that you can do with this. I think this can support up to like 80 pounds on top and still be able to turn something. So if I have a bigger product that I need to turn on this, this is gonna be my go-to and this is what I'm going to use. Now, the Lazy Susan comes with a remote and for me, I'm not a huge fan of the speeds. When it comes to a slow speed, I can't really get that slow speed or you know, go into a fast motion. I can't move in between. All I can do is click this faster and slower and that's all I can really do. Now, you can make it up here on the remote change by one degrees, five degrees, a 64th and a 48th. Also really quickly, you can change the direction of this and it has a bunch of different save settings down here, uh, down below. Now, when it comes to this, this can't move very fast compared to the Lazy Susan. So if you're looking for something to turn the product really quick, I'd probably go with the Susan. But the one thing that I like about this is you can set I'll usually use this in combination with the slider. So I will set my slider to do a parallax move and then I'll have this match the slider. So that way, if I mess up, I can do the exact same motion over and over and over. With this, it's kind of guessing, you know, which way it goes. So one video we did is for a wine commercial and we wanted the bottles switching out, but we had to have this so we take the bottle, we put the label right here, and then we have the motion complete all the way 180 degrees. So every time that we push play on our slider, everything would match up so we could switch out bottles seamlessly. So if you're looking for a more controlled environment where you can do more than just spin a product, I would definitely recommend this, but like I said, it's expensive. It's 300 bucks, but you bet you, the person that wants to buy this is going to be using it uh, with the slider. Now, another downfall for this is you need to have something to control it. There's no buttons on this. You have to control it via app. Me personally, I went and bought a iPhone just to control my app so that way I'm not getting phone notifications and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you're going to have to have some way to run the app to control this. This also has a battery solution where this needs to be plugged into a wall. So that's another thing uh, to can keep in consideration. I also like to use this for stop motion. Uh, you can plug it directly into a camera and then you can turn the product or the camera and do it for stop motion. So that's another benefit of this. So when it comes to doing product videos and I need to turn objects and get nice seamless motion, 
I use both of these, but they have very different uses. Um, a lot of times when I have products and they need for like an Etsy store and they just want the product spinning on some plexiglass, this is gonna be my go-to. But if I need something sleek, the product is actually bigger than this box, then I can actually turn it, get a full image of it and hide this box uh, very easily. But if I need something to turn fast, I'm gonna go to my Lazy Susan. If I need something that is more controlled where I need to repeat the motion over and over, I'm gonna be going uh, to my Edelchrone. But a lot of times I'll use the Edelchrone on the slider um, paired with the Lazy Susan to get more of a dynamic moving shot. So uh, I recommend them both. My only downfall of this is it does sometimes disconnect from the app. You have to have an app. And the other thing I hate about this is I will get to a shoot sometimes and if I don't check the firmware update, sometimes these won't connect and work together. So you really need to make sure that uh, this is updated with the firmware or it won't work properly. This one here does not have a battery solution and it always needs to be uh, plugged into the wall. Hey, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.